continuing on with solving for x. Okay, so here's the given. See if you can find out what x is ultimately. Okay, based on the three rules that we've just talked about. Remember the first rule saying we need to isolate the radical. Okay, get the radical by itself. This is a special case, if you haven't noticed already. You've got two radicals here. So we're going to bypass step one and go on to step two. I'm going to move this guy to the other side. Okay. So on the left side, we have 7x minus 4. On the right side, we'll have 2 square root of x plus 5. Okay. This is an interesting one here because step two says raise both sides of the equation to the correct power. So we need to determine what would be your exponent here. Okay. And in order to know that, you have to recognize that there's a little two here that is invisible. So if you want to cancel out your radical, you need to take it to the second power. Okay, so here it will cancel out. Okay, so the square root will cancel out with the exponent. And that will leave you with 7x minus 4 on the left. Now, on the right here you have a constant term, which is a 2. To the second power is 4. And then if you cancel out this radical with the exponent, you're going to end up with x plus 5. Okay, Remember to put your parentheses here. So now it looks more pleasant, right? You've seen this before in Algebra 1. See if you can get x by itself. See if you can take it from here. Okay, You have to distribute 4 times x and then 4 times positive 5. So here we have, again, just rewriting this here, equals 4x, positive times positive is a plus, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay. We're getting there. Let's get the x on the left. So minus 3x minus 3x. You have 4x minus 4 is equal to, hmm. you need to subtract 4x to get rid of it, right? So let's subtract 4x instead of 3x here. Okay, Because we want to get rid of this term. Okay, So that will make this 7 minus 4 is 3 equals 20. Okay, make sure we have to be careful with our calculations here. Oh, I, I have to be careful with my calculations. So, I bet you guys are just smiling here at my careless mistake. Everyone, we all make that once in a while. So let's get rid of the minus 4. What's the opposite of minus 4? Yes, let's add 4 to both sides. This cancels out. 3x is equal to 24. Okay, let's take this home now, shall we? What's the opposite of times 3? Right, let's divide 3. So the 3 cancels. Ultimately, x is equal to 24 divided by 3. And there it is. Work out a sweat there, but these are pretty fun once you've gotten the hang of this. Okay. Make sure you understand this one, and because there's so many variety to these types of questions here. So let's look at one more. Okay. 
if you're able to keep up, I'm so very proud of you. Okay, moving on. Again, solve means to find out what x is. So here you have the square root of x plus 16 minus the square root of x equals 2. Okay. See if you can, based on our discussion, find out what x is. What is the value of x? I'm going to move this guy to the other side. So I'm going to add the square root of x to both sides. So on the left, we're going to have the square root of x plus 16 equals 2 plus root x. Okay, so all we did was move this square root of x here to the right side by adding it to both sides. Okay. So what we did was add the square root of x to both sides in order to get that equation there. Okay. So let's ask ourselves, what would be our exponent here in order to get rid of the radical? Okay. So. Remember we said there's a little 2 here that is invisible. So we're going to multiply or I'm going to take both sides to the exponent of 2, to the power of 2. Okay. So this cancels out. You have no radical. You have x plus 16 equals. Now for this guy here, is the same as 2 plus root x times 2 plus root x. So if you see foiling action here, you are correct. So you need to foil this. Okay, so foil it, meaning